Hey everybody, Hi Lord Tamerlane with another Obscurity in Miniature. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dracula's America, Shadows of the West from Osprey, War Games, Books, whatever it's called, as well as North Star Miniatures. These figures are actually put out by North Star, as you can see, but they are in conjunction with Osprey Publishing. That's what it is, Publishing, not War Games or whatever. I have a feeling that these are probably sculpted by Steve Soleil, who does Lucid Eye and a bunch of other figures of various lines for North Star. They don't actually say, but this set right here that we're going to look at today is the Hired Guns 2 set. Let's see what's inside, shall we? So our figures in the Hired Guns 2 set look to be the Undertaker, the Preacher, and what I'm assuming is a Witch Hunter. I want to say these are from the second Dracula's America book, which I don't actually own. I have the first one, have not had a chance to play it. Really like the look of the rules, sounds fun, and I have tons and tons of figures that would fit in perfectly. Really like this guy's sculpt. Love the bird sitting on his shoulder. Probably a raven is my guess. Very laden down with lots of interesting details. You can see he's got like a wanted poster or something tucked into his boot as well as in his belt there. Um, I'm not sure if that's feathers or flash. Looks like flash on the top of his hat there. Interesting saber, a couple of pistols, anything on his backside, not really spurs, I guess. So, going to need a little bit of cleanup on him, obviously. You can see a bit there on the gun barrel as well, but that's not a big deal. Also, one thing to point out is that these figures did not come with any kind of bases. I don't know if that was just my set in particular or the line in general. I haven't had a chance to pick up many of the Dracula's America blisters yet. And we've been using Shadows of Brimstone stuff whenever we've attempted to play. Here's the preacher. You can see he's very nicely dressed. He's got his book in his hand. I'm assuming he's a preacher. Looks like a preacher. But he's got fabulous, fabulous facial hair. That's going to be a fun one to paint. Also has his lantern, which if you're going to be playing these guys in perhaps a game of Shadows of Brimstone, that is perfect to represent him holding back the darkness, which I always seem to fail the roles of. And then we have either the Gravedigger or the Undertaker. I'm not sure what kind of a job he is, but again, very nicely sculpted. Lots of character there. Love the gaunt look to his face. Uh, Nice tall hat on his head there. Gonna need a bit of cleanup, but that's okay. So, <clears throat> how do they stack up to other weird West figures on the market? Well, we always have our go-to Shadows of Brimstone figures and Malifaux here. We'll grab a couple and see how they compare. That is, if I can find where they are. <laughs> there we go. So, Again, these guys don't have any bases, so let's grab one and see. I know the Witch Hunter doesn't really want to stand up there, but the Preacher does. Hmm, it's a pleasant surprise. Not too small in comparison to his friends. A little bit smaller. And again, Base Reeves is not the smallest of figures as it is. I think these guys would fit in pretty well. In a game of Brimstone, or Tombstone, or Dracula's America, if you want to mix lines together. I mean, I don't think they're going to look really out of place. Gunfighter's Ball as well from Knuckle Duster Games. Um, I think this is going to be a really nice set of characters to mix in. I mean, yeah, they're a little bit shorter, but not a whole lot. I don't think for the most part it's going to make a huge difference. And, you know... I'm all about cross-compatibility with games, so if I can use these guys in Dracula's America, obviously I need to get the new book, I can also put them to work in just about any other Wild West, Weird West setting, and as I've said many times, Shadows of Brimstone is my go-to game in that regard, so I'm sure as soon as I get these guys painted, they'll be seeing action of some sort on the tabletop. Hopefully they will on yours too. Check them out. It's been High Lord Tamberlane's Obscurities and Miniatures saying goodbye.